Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the guessing game using binary search. So suppose you were asked to guess a computer's randomly chosen integer from one to 30, and the computer tells you if your guess is too low or if it's too high. We wanna know what's an efficient algorithm to use and the max number of guesses needed. Well, obviously by the title, it's gonna be the binary search, but uh, let's uh, look at this for a second. So if we were guessing a number from one to 30, so we have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I'm just gonna go all the way up 15, 16, and then we have 29 and 30. Right, the dots just stand for all of the integers in between. Then we might come up with some algorithm where we'll choose the first one here. We'll say one. It says we'll say is is the number one that the computer guessed, and maybe the computer chose the number thirty. So it will say no, um, too high. I'm sorry, not too high. It'll say too low. It'll say your guess is too low. So then maybe we'll choose two, and then again, they'll say too low. And then three, and then again, our guess is too low. And then we'll choose four, our guess is too low. And we'll keep doing this to get to 29, and then they'll say our guess is too low. And then we'll say 30. And then they'll say correct. And the number of times that it took us, or the number of guesses that it took us is 30. So it took 30 guesses. Okay, so that, that was using this algorithm, the very worst um, um, number of guesses that it took was 30. So uh, that's, we're just gonna keep, keep that in mind for now. Let's say that we decide to go the opposite way. So we start off with 30. So we say, is your guess 30? And it just says correct. So that took just one guess. So the number of guesses here was just one. That was the best case scenario, is that we started from the opposite end and we got it correct. Okay, but let's suppose that, um, oops, I did not mean to erase that. I'm gonna put back our one guess here. But uh, let's suppose that our computer did not choose either the first or the last um, number. So like on average, you know, what's the chances of us, um, or, or what's the number of guesses that we're going to need on average? And it's probably 15, right? 15 guesses will be the number of guesses. So let's take a look at this in big old notation. Um, worst case, was right here. This is worst case. One guess was our best case. And 15 guesses was our average case. Okay? So we write this in big old notation. Worst case was, since this is from one all the way to n, n is the, um, the number of elements in our list or in our array. So I could say this, the, the worst case was big O of 30, or in this case, big O of N. So we're just gonna get rid of that 30 there. And I'm gonna put N here. So that's our worst case. Our best case was one guess. So we can say uh, our best case was big omega of one. So that's our best case. And then our average case is big theta of 15. We got to look at that as 30 divided by two or We can also see that as uh, n divided by two, which is of course just big theta of n, okay? But of course there's a more efficient 
algorithm to use than this algorithm. And I didn't tell you what this algorithm is called. The algorithm that we use is called linear search. Okay. And again, there's a better algorithm to use. Hint the, the name here, binary search. So that's exactly what we're going to use next to uh, come up with a more efficient way to, to make these guesses. So I'm going to erase the board here. And let's use the algorithm called binary search. Okay. Now what we do with binary search is we take the middle of the list or the array. So we're going to start with the number 15 and we're going to say, Hey computer is 15. Um, the, the number that you randomly chose. And then the computer say no. Again, the computer chose the number 30 in this case. So it will say uh, it's, it's, this number is too low. We need to guess a higher number. So uh, the, the next numbers to guess, the possible number of choices now, is 16 to 30. So we've already gotten rid of, gotten rid of half of the other options on the other side of the array. Everything from here, from that mark on to the left is gone. So now what we'll do is we will take the middle choice between 16 and 30. And we can figure that out by doing 30 plus 16 divided by two. And what we get is 46 divided by two, which is just 23. So the next guess that we're going to choose is 23. And we're going to ask the computer, hey, is 23 your number? And the computer again is going to say, no, that's too low. Um, my number is higher, so guess a higher number. So now the number of possible choices is 24 to 30. So what we do is use that same algorithm. So we just do 30 plus 24 divided by 2. And this gives us 54 divided by 2, which is just... 27 and so we're going to guess 27 so 27 is in the middle there so we're going to say is your number 27 computer the computer is going to say no that's still too low you have to guess a higher number so the number of possible um, uh, numbers uh, or the range of possible numbers is 28 to 30 so we can figure out the middle obviously is 29 but We'll do the math here. 30 plus 28 divided by 2. This gives us uh, 58 divided by 2, which is 29. So we'll guess 29. And we'll say, hey, is 29 your number? It says, no, that's still too low. It's going to tell us to guess again. And all we have is 30 left. So we're going to say your number is 30. And it's, then it's going to say correct. So how many guesses did it take? Let's see. One here. Two here. Then three here. And then four here. And then five here. Okay. So it only took five guesses. And that was the worst case. So up here I'm going to put worst case was five guesses. Okay. Let me make some room here. And you can see how efficient that was. It didn't take 30 guesses. It only took five. And believe it or not, on average, yeah, on average case, it'd take about five guesses. Okay. And then best case is that the number chosen, the number 15 in the middle, 
is the correct number that the computer randomly chose. And in that case, the best case is one guess. Okay, so let's write this in asymptotic notation. Um, how do we get this number five here? Well, five would be about equal to log base two of n. All right, so our n is 30 here. So we can say log base two of 30 and it, this right here is actually four point something. So we're gonna say log base two of n rounded up. That's what these two, um, I guess, symbols mean. So the answer is log base two of n rounded up, and that gives us five. Okay, so our worst case, I'm gonna write this in asymptotic notation. Worst case is big O of log base two of n. Also just log n. And then our average case is theta of log n. And then our best case is omega one. So to answer this question, um, what's an efficient algorithm? Obviously binary search is an efficient algorithm. And what's the max number of guesses needed? We'll only need five guesses to solve this, uh, or to, to play this guessing game and to win, okay? So thank you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be sure to put a link to some code you can run in the C programming language to run the guessing game yourself and see how it uh, plays. And I put a link as well of my website where I have a, a JavaScript um, code of this game on there at the bottom. Uh, please leave likes, questions, comments, and don't forget to subscribe guys and as always, Thanks for watching this video. I thought this was a very, very um, interesting game that uses binary search, and I thought it would be fun to uh, kind of explain how it works. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.